Hi there and welcome back. On this video I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna convert my just ordinary kick scooter into a electric kick scooter. So first things first the parts that I got well this is the uh, controller that I bought from China it's uh, for 24 volts and the maximum power should be 500 watts not sure about the sticker but I hope it's okay I already got my scooter back there you can see it let me zoom there's the motor so it's a hub motor hub wheel motor and it's 24 volts or it might take more than 24 volts, I'm not sure, but well, the ad says it's for 24 volts and I bought it because I bought the 24 volt battery which is over here, so that's why I chose the 24 volt motor also it came with the controller and I got that already hooked up here I had to make some modifications to the uh, to the fork here I had to widen it or a half an inch or something to fit it. This was the, uh, the original front wheel, which is way narrower than. And also, I had to cut some metal from here to make it because the the axle that goes there it's a kind of a square, so it prevents it from spinning. And these bolts just keep keep it in place. So yeah. That's what I done earlier, and today I'm gonna try to test it out, how it works or if it works at all. And this is the uh, thumb throttle adjustment thing, and it also has the uh, kind of a gauge for the uh, voltage, I think. I hope it fits here. There's a lot of wires on this controller and I don't need them all, but yeah. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna apologize about the uh, audio quality. I had the uh, washing machine <laughs> behind me and also my girlfriend is doing some dance moves on the living room. So. This controller came with no instructions, but I got some photos from the um, the seller. Let's see. These are not that good. There's this one. I also got this one. But the wires are not all the same color. I think the pictures are from similar type of controllers, but not the uh, exact one that I got here. First thing I did was uh, connect the power plug that goes to the uh, battery into the controller here using this. It was simple and also. The uh, let me see the, the three phase phase um, three phase connection to the uh, motor because the motor I think is brushless. So this really is pretty simple. They are all the same color. And also some I don't know what these. They are coming from the wheel. Some kind of motor sensoric stuff and also have the same color so it was pretty simple then was the the thumb throttle I think I got that right these two I think these are for the um, cruise control I think yeah because there's a switch over here but I didn't connect those I think they are yeah, somewhere in there, but 
I don't think I need those for the first test. So first, I'm gonna plug this. It's kind of a bad connection thing because it can go all either way inside the uh, the battery. So I have to check that the uh, markings are okay, plus and minus. Whoa. But the power is not on on the battery yet because I need the keys to. Here are the keys. So <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good thing to have all this stuff on my lap. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, so I think the power is on. There's no indication light anywhere, so I don't know if if everything is okay. Let's see what happens when I turn this. Nothing happens. So, there might be a thing, because there was a mention that there might be a kind of a electric lock thing so I think I need to connect two wires to to put the power on on this so let's continue I think I found the one wire that needs to be connected that was for the kind of a uh, key switch so let's try it again Still no light on here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is it jammed or something? <laughs> something is wrong, I think. <laughs> if the no, if the brake is on or something. Found what was the problem. So these wires over here, these they have the same color that the ones, these small ones that come from the wheel, from the motor. And I got those all connected to the uh, to the same colors, the matching colors. But I don't think this is for them, or I don't know. But now I disconnect a few of these because I there's some sort of wires for the uh, electric brake and it sounds like something was breaking there. So now when I turn the power on, there's still no light in here. But I got most of the wires now figured out. I even put the um, the old, the small ones that came from the motor that I first took off because it was making a funny sound over there. I put them back on and I also found the um, the wires that control the uh, electronic brake and also oh yeah, the power is on already so here's the throttle and I also found the wires for the uh, cruise control so now when I Oh, I need to add. Now when I do this, I'm like driving like this, okay, and then I want to make a cruise, I press this. Oh, let's try it again. Okay, now. So, I can take my hands off, and it's still spinning. So it's, now we are cruising, 
and then when I connect these small wires, it's gonna stop. I'm not sure, but this should be the uh, electronic brick. So, I think the next next stage is gonna be me taping with duct tape or something the battery to this steering pole over here, the battery over here, and the controller somewhere in here, and well, it's it's pretty late now, so I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. But yeah, and this should connect okay with to the handle and take it for a test spin. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's the next day and what I did, I put all the uh, components together, the battery, the controller and the throttle there and then I just tied up all the extra cables here as you can see it's not the prettiest kind of a Frankenstein build here the battery and this is just held by a few straps and duct tape but the idea is to was to test it out and I did I went out I took it for a spin I cruised like a hour or something just testing the speed and the uh, well the throttle and yeah everything worked okay it didn't come loose which was nice because there was a lot of you know gravel still on the roads because of this the ice and the snow we had snow like a few days ago a lot so yeah that's why there's a gravel on the streets but yeah it held pretty good but I was a little bit disappointed by the maximum speed. I was hoping to get uh, like 30 kilometers per hour, but I got only 25, which is I think around 15 miles per hour. I'm not sure. Do the math. The next part, I'm gonna post now this video, put it out, and after that, I'm gonna start figuring out how to attach this controller somewhere in here and I'm gonna fix it so it's permanently there but the battery needs to have a kind of a support plate over here where I can attach the, uh, the power cords and also it needs to be easily removed because I'm gonna use the same battery I'm building um, an electric outboard motor also at the same time and the idea was to build this and use the same battery on my outboard motor for my inflatable dinghy. So the battery has to be easily took out and put it on the boat and took it out and put it on the scooter. So yeah, that's gonna take a while to figure out to figure out the most sophisticated and elegant way to put all this junk nicely and beautifully somewhere in here yeah and all uh, yeah I'm gonna also design a kind of an extension to here to cover and seal all the extra wires so I'm gonna do that with my 3D printer and I hope it's gonna be nice there's not a lot of room here but I hope I can do it yeah, so that's about it. So now, at, at the end, I'm gonna put some GoPro footage that I shot while while I was cruising on here, Helsinki, Finland. It was a beautiful day. It still is. The sun is shining. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the next part, part two that is coming. So yeah, give you a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like and see you soon. Bye bye.